Thank you. Okay, just showing you some of the new in for spring. This is Wilfred. So they've got this sage floral pattern on a lot of their stuff. The valid blouse. They also have it in plain black. They've got the twirl skirt in the pattern. That's pretty cute, actually, if you're into the twirl skirt. You, I don't know. I want a twirl skirt. I don't have one yet. I don't think I'd get a patterned one because I think I'd want it to kind of just transition for all seasons. But, you know, I mean, this is the black one. Can you even beat that? Like, it just looks so good. <laughs> and the one that I was super excited about, for short people, this is a game changer. The effortless, the effortless pants, excuse me, is in cropped now. What? Yes, you can get it cropped. They only have two colors. They have black and light birch. I think light birch would be so excellent for summer. It has kind of a wide leg high waist fit. So if that's what you're into, definitely look into this. I I don't know about this yet for me, but I know so many people on the Aritzia subreddit especially were very excited about this coming out. So making sure you know that it is in store and I believe it might be online soon. Probably as soon as this, when this video is out, it'll be available online. These are the Belize cardigans. They're completely merino wool, which is why I think they're as expensive as they are. But they are on sale. Yeah, they're on sale, but they're normally about $200. I love this color. This looks, you can see the mannequin look here. It's paired with a black only dress. I love the heather bristle with black. It just looks so sharp to me. I love that combo. So this is the color I would get. It's very tempting. <laughs> I might try it on to see, but yeah, this is, and they have all these other beautiful colors too. Of all like the long cardigans that Aritzia has, I really like this one the best just because the material is the most like natural. Merino wool, 100%. Okay, this is one of the new dresses for Sunday Best. Mm. I get kind of a Reformation vibe from these. I like the bustier kind of look, but I don't know, the fabric is just, it's a crepe fabric, so it definitely won't shrink. So that's pretty cool. But they look kind of short. But yeah, Sunday Vest dresses typically are short. You know that from my Sunday Vest video. This, These look pretty short to me. So if you ever wanted a pastel Ghana jacket, here you go. Not sure how I feel about that. Honestly, I've never been on the Ghana jacket bandwagon. But like, I don't know. Like, what, what do you need these for? <laughs> that's my question. Just not for me. Not for me. But there are some other stuff here and like more springy colors, like tank tops and whatnot. Yeah, this is pretty cute. Mostly the Wilfred stuff is out now for spring. Um, as of this video, I don't think Babaton stuff has all dropped yet, but yeah. Wilfred is definitely out and popping in your store and I think online, so check it out for sure. Got a couple of the things for the spring collection to try on since I had to be here for a return anyway. So capitalizing on the situation, capitalizing on life, seizing the day. I will be trying these on. Hopefully you guys see something useful and you enjoy. Also, we have our own private dressing room. Shout out to that. Well, I mean, I always have my own. <laughs> no one ever shares a dressing room. What I mean to say is that I have a mirror. Also an outfit check. This is the Hadwin blouse. I believe it's Babaton. These are random bell bottoms I got from Amazon. Shoes I got from Poshmark. No idea what brand. Oh, no, I do. They're Dolce Vita. Topping off the outfit is my firstborn child, the Margo Blazer. I wear this all the time. You already know. Literally obsessed with it. And then I have a necklace from Anna Luisa. And my mask because we're wearing masks. That's what we do. All right, so first thing is this valid blouse. This is in a size small. I don't actually know what color or pattern this is, but it's kind of a sage green color with a very florally pattern. Smocked bodice and then gathered top. Mirrors it on the back. Well, can't do cameras. Mirrors it on the back as well. This is cute. I always say things are cute, but this is really nice. I like how it flares out like this in like a very mini peplum kind of way. And you can adjust the straps. They are tied together, so to be as loose or as tight as you want them to be. And I think it like goes with my look if you like are in the bell bottoms. Today's a bell bottom day. I don't know. I think this works as an ensemble. So yeah, yeah. Goody. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the Sunday Best new ruffle wrap dress in the size small. Um, it's on sale for like a mega deal right now. It's $30. Uh, there's a lot of colors online, but the sizing is pretty limited. So this is navy. I, not my first choice, but this is very, I really like this. And, you know, if you're kind of uncomfortable with the chest area, you can always wear a bralette with it. This is like a little low cut for me, more low cut than I usually do. But it's not too bad. Um, the extra small that I tried on earlier is like way worse. So if you find that there's a big cut, it's because it's too small. Yeah. This is the mini version of the Elva dress in a size small. This is from Wilfred. Kind of has a baby doll fit, like 70s, 70s vibe. Long sleeved, double lined, so you don't have to worry about it being see-through lining. This is size small. I like it a lot, actually. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think much of it on the model, but on Instagram, I saw a stylist advisor wearing it, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And now I'm, I kind of really like it. <laughs> yeah, and I really like this pattern. I like how it's vertical, so it kind of gives the appearance of length. So when as short as me could use that. So yeah. I feel like Diana Ross. <laughs> this is the Pino dress. I've been looking at it online for the longest time and I've been like, yes, yes, yes. And now that I'm wearing it, I'm just like, eh, not really. This is size small, so it is kind of big on me. Like it could probably be a little bit shorter. I usually go a somewhat smaller size, like X smaller X and Wilfred based on the length of the dress since that seems to be the biggest differentiator. I mean, it's very form-fitting and flattering, but this neck hole here, so if you can see, it's kind of like backless here. So this is actually a really small opening. So it barely fit over my head, which, you know, I've complained about this in the past, things fitting over my head. So when something doesn't, or when something is like kind of a struggle in that department, X nay on that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you in case you were interested in it and wanted to see how it looked on me, but yeah. This is the Babaton Thompson dress, size zero. I think it looks fine. Girl, that's so pretty on you. Thank you. She thinks it looks great, but it is a bit small, which is why it's bunching up on my hips, as you can see. I don't think I need a dress like this in my wardrobe, but it is on sale on the website right now, so take a look if you're interested. Finally, I'm trying on the Belize cardigan, Heather Bristle color, of course, size extra small. Really love the bottom paneling uh, that switches when you walk. It reminds me of the Kala robe. I think that's really flattering. I also think it's the kind of thing that you can dress up or dress down and even wear open or with, with or without the belt, basically, and it gives it a casual feel or even a dressed up feel. But that's all for this try on haul. Really appreciate you watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. And as always, please stay healthy and take care. Bye!